So Bishop Andrew Mwenda of uh, Evangelical Fellowship Zambia is not so happy with the, with the way the government has been has been awarding these uh, compensations, and uh, he took it to social media to exp to express himself. And this is what he had to say. Good afternoon. The Evangelical Fellowship of Zambia would like to condemn and call for an immediate end to reckless consent judgment the nation has witnessed recently, which to the ordinary Zambians appear to be a deliberate legal path being used to loot national resources by those connected with the ruling party. While it is a constitutional right for any aggrieved citizen to seek redress through the courts of law, we are left to wonder why the Attorney General is opting for shortcuts without, without subjecting compensation claims to a full legal process. We are deeply concerned that the endless list of those being awarded hefty compensation through constant judgment continues to grow unabated and we understand that there are a lot more similar cases in the pipeline. So far, those who have benefited from these questionable consent judgments include Chief Mukun's wife and four others who were granted 500 quarter each by the Livingstone High Court in February 2023. In August, we saw five UPND supporters in, uh, accused of treason of treason win with the with the then opposition leader president hakai dehichilema who were awarded 6.4 million kwacha each through consent judgment others include 1 million kwacha paid to each of the 10 upnd members imprisoned on allegations of being uh, behind city market fire 530 uh, awarded to Mr. Frank Tayali, uh, 900,000 kwacha awarded to Mr. Obvious Maritator, and now Mr. William Banda has also sued claiming 3 million kwacha. We challenge the state to subject any future claims of questionable compensation to a full court process where the merits of the claims can be put to, to test in an open court, failure to do so, the Attorney General's Chamber will stand accused by the public court of opinion of aiding fraudulent payments to the expense of the struggling, the struggling, uh, that the struggling taxpayers. It is very unsettling that these questionable compensations are being awarded in the absence of sound legal justification, while legal fees also appear inflated in the name of fairness, national interest, and dispensing of justice transparently. These consent judgments must be abandoned forthwith. Further, we wish to remind the government that two wrongs don't make a right, as we noticed, uh, as, as we have noticed with concern, comparisons being made through the press between today's consent judgments and those made during the PF regime. If the PF were wrong, it does not justify the current government to try and outdo the former regime in wrongdoing. We want you to know that uh, as government, it's not right to do what is going on right now. So as EFZ, we call a stop to this reckless way of doing things, rather particularly uh, on the concert judgments. Thank you. May God bless you. It is well. Abagashwaba Chifu, all those people, Mr. Morite, all those people, they are enjoying the UPND and they've still been awarded more monies. Eh? Hello, there were so many people that fought for the UPND, but they never got any government position, and they were, but they were beaten, traumatized, tear gassed, name it. Eh? Even if even if this was the right thing to do, but I think it is being awarded to these people because our, they are they are high profile people, but they are underprivileged. They know
And you see most of these people that are even given these monies, they are UPND. They too many poor muntu work but they UPND, they PF or 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 are poor victim, or or are poor MPH.